I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, gee, Dad, it must have been slow news day because you haven't done a video game-based video in forever. Well, yeah, that's why I have been doing convention and Let's Plays lately to fill in the gap. We haven't had shit to talk about in a while. Even other popular YouTubers haven't really done something in a while. Well, I'm back, and we finally got something. And once again, it is on the series that inspired the channel's namesake, and it's more Ace Attorney news that we seldomly get to talk about because not a whole lot's been coming out in recent months. Capcom released more information about the next Phoenix Wright game, Spirit of Justice, and it includes its release date and early release demo, like they did for Dual Destinies, and some more case information. Ace Attorney 6, or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney The Spirit of Justice, is coming to the Nintendo eShop on September 8th, 2016. And as for the demo, it's coming out on August 25th. So just like Dual Destinies a few years ago, they're giving out the demo for us to try out to kind of like wet our lips for the taste of Ace Attorney that's coming out next month. Now, as you can probably tell from this trailer right here, Emma Sky is returning, and I'm actually a personal fan of hers, and I'm sure many of y'all who are watching this are too as well. I've seen at least like a few cosplays of her at other conventions I've been to, and it's, some of them look pretty damn impressive. For those who don't know, Emma Sky was an assistant to Phoenix Wright in his fifth case, in the very first game, and kind of took the place of Maya as she went on to go continue training to become a more full-fledged spirit medium. At the time, she was still a high school student who had a giant infatuation with forensic science, but she was allowed to help Phoenix in his case at the time. And then in Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edgeworth, she was a college student still kind of dabbling in the same personality and interests of forensic science, but she was still a college student not yet full-fledged. And then in Apollo Justice, she had finished college, came back, tried to take the exams to become a full-fledged forensic scientist, failed miserably multiple times, so they unrealistically set her up as a detective within the police department, which I've spoken to police in real life. In order to become a detective, you need to have police experience first, years worth of it. They don't just assign it to you. Now in Apollo Justice, I didn't really like the way they made her, considering how it's like a drastic shift in personality from when she was younger to now. But, if I think about it, it's kind of understandable. I mean, you're older, you're pissed off, you didn't get your dream job, and you have to like sneak your interest into your current profession. Again, unrealistically. But again, I can understand why. But not the case this time. It looks like she has finally passed those certification exams and is now a full-fledged forensic scientist and an investigator. She now wears that armband to kind of show that she is one, although we don't really do that here in America, but I guess in Japan it's more common. And it looks like she transformed from Bitter Betty to Happy Harriet now because everything is back to where she used to be in high school, like terms of personality-wise. But now that she has achieved her dream position, she now looks like she's more than willing to help Trucy, Apollo Justice, whoever she's going to help out. She's back to her old happy self again. Now, Trucy Wright's going to be playing a much bigger role this time in Spirit of Justice, considering they're now going to be pushing her into a case, maybe even as a suspect. And it looks interesting because now she's in high school and she's more popular of the, with her magic act. She's now no longer just an amateur. And as for the details of this case, I'll kind of leave it out, but I'll still leave the link in the description for those who are interested in hearing details of the case. I don't want to really dab into story details. Because as we all know, Ace Attorney is a heavy story-based game, and some of us want to save our first experience for the game and not the news that's coming out prior to the release. So this is a good bit of news. Emma Sky is coming in, and Trucy Wright is going to be involved in the case. I don't think she has been ever since her introduction, so this will be a new taste instead of always putting Maya as a suspect or, you know, like the assistant. I don't know, it's, it's a good fresher pace. But remember, the demo's coming out August 25th. I'm probably going to check it out, maybe get my first impressions, a little quick video. And the official release date, September 8th. So, 
I'm looking forward to this. This is Dan of Gaming Objections, and I have no objections to this news that's coming out today. <laughs>